Hey guys, this is a quick update. I wanted to show you my 3000. I took the lid off because I've been talking about how I cooled it. This is a 40 millimeter fan that is wired into a 4 pin Molex, I think. Uh, no, it's one of these 4 pin to fan adapter dudes. And uh, the 3640s right here. This blows across, sucking air in from the intake. Also left the bottom uh, yep, plate out to cool across the chips. And uh, my o original O30 is heat synced, but this guy works extremely well. I'll show you. There you go. Oh, did I turn it on? There we go. So there it is spinning. It's sucking air in and blowing right across the gals and then whatever the fan does in its dipped propeller style to suck out does it. So I've run this all day long now. No problems. 040. Yeah, I don't know if it's getting super hot, but I did show you in the past. Turn this off that in here, and I don't know if this is going to even show, you can see the heat sinks that I put on in the past for, like they were just Raspberry Pi heat sinks or small 10 by 10s I just made four of them for 40 millimeter. If you can find a 40 millimeter low profile, go for it. And uh, Raspberry Pi heat synced all of the gals on the 3640, all of the 745s and pretty much everything I could put one on, I put one on. This side, the chip ram and stuff, I don't worry about. I wasn't really worried about the Agnes. It doesn't get hot. The Denise, the Paula, and the Amber chip don't really get hot. The original, like I said, the original O30 was heat synced. Uh, CIAs, I did not worry about, nor the ROMs. So, that seems to be working. I have not replaced the fan in this with a quieter one. I kind of like the sound it makes. I like the... Uh, at least a little something. When you're putting on your front cover, just be careful. Take your time putting it on if you're a 3000 owner, because if you slam these, this will get bent and cause solder cracks, which will make your LEDs not work. And you cannot find these single piece, double wide LEDs anymore. The repops you can get on eBay that do the Buddha or the regular Commodore SCSI here are a two-piece LED. While, yes, it looks fine, just keep in mind that these are hard to come by. So that's a quick update on my 3640 and the Amiga 3000 cooling. If you're having some weirdness, you can see my nice glue blob right there. She's just sitting on the board right up next to, there's a little bit of a gap. You know, got it as close as I could. You can hear it. It's blowing nice and good. And uh, temperatures have been holding, no problems. I'm not even getting over 100 degrees, even under full load, and that is fine by me. So that's an Amiga Quickie. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you, and I hope you learned something.